At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify structured probability model, recognize the kinds of structured probability model, and appreciate the significance of structured probability model. When we do deep learning projects, we are oftentimes faced with a great challenge considering a large number of random variables in dealing with probability distributions. So we know that there is a direct interaction between and among relatively few variables. So if you don't have any idea yet about probability distributions, I suggest that you study this lesson. Anyway, I have my lessons about that. The link is given in the description below. Please watch it. You may pause this video for a while and come back if you're done watching and studying the lessons about probability distributions because this will make this lesson and your understanding of this lesson more significant. So with this, we need to have an efficient function that can describe a probability distribution. So at this point, the best thing to ask is, what's the best thing to do, right? So, well, we have to split a probability distribution into factors so that we can multiply them together. So for better, uh, for better understanding of splitting this probability distribution into factors, let's have this as an example. So what is this all about? So we have this the probability of a b and c so a b and c here are actually the, uh, the variables in the distribution so it's equal to p a p times p b given a times p c given b so again we have here three random variables a b and c so here a affects the value of b. So as you could see here, we have here and b influences the value of c as seen by this statement. So what about the relationship between a and c? Because here we could not see any conditions or relationship between A, A, and then C. So between A and C, there is no relationship because they are independent of each other. So that's why we could not say that A affects C or C affects A. Okay, so based on this statement, we can represent the probability distribution over all three variables as a product of probability distributions over two variables okay so this is a kind of factorization that helps us reduce the number of parameters or the numbers of of the variables that we have to consider so that we would be able to understand how the transfer of information from one variable to the other can be best described so we can represent the factorization of a probability distribution using a graph and then we call it a structured probabilistic model or a graphical model so anyway before I forget so we use the graph let me write that here okay graph that is why we have the word graphical model so we use graph in the sense of a graph theory so graph theory is actually a set of vertices that may be connected to each other with edges. So later in our examples, we would be able to understand what these edges are and how they are related to each other and how they make meaningful and significant connections from one variable to the other or from or among the different variables. So we will understand this graph theory by studying the two kinds of structured probabilistic model. So I would like to point out that each node in our graph is a random variable and edge connecting two random variables means that the probability distribution is capable of representing 
direct interactions between the two variables and so we will clearly understand these ones we have our example later okay so let's first have the direct models okay this one shows us what a direct uh, a directed model is so let me write here I think I have to use another color so you could see directed model okay this is okay so here we use graph with directed edges and then um, represent factorization into conditional probability distributions so this statement says it all so we have px here and what does all of, what does each one of them mean or what does this equation mean so this contains one factor okay there is only one factor for every variable x i so in a, in the distribution so this factor is consists of conditional distribution over x i given the parent x i as denoted by p a g x i okay and so this illustration this one tells us about what a directed model is so as you could see here we have five variables and because we do have five variables it means that we also have five nodes and these five nodes are a b c d and then e okay so this graph okay corresponds to probability distributions which can be factored at this like this so what's what's the factor so we have the probability of a b c d and e is equal to the probability of a times the probability of b given a times the probability of c given a and b times the probability of d given b times the probability of p given uh, sorry the probability probability of e given c so we have here different conditions so what do you mean by this so just a while ago we said about edges right so let's start first with this one okay probability of a so obviously a is the beginning okay it's the parent actually and then from point a we go to point b and then we go to point c so this is the edge that connects to this edge of c and this is the edge that connect to the or that connects to this edge of b okay so and this point or this edge of b connects to this edge of c so it means to say that we could not just connect to any other points of a to other points of c and also f with respect to a and then to b so there should be a specific point or edge wherein a and b should connect and also with respect to a and c and also with also with respect to b and the c okay so now let's go to b and then a okay so with respect to b and then a the property of b is affected by some conditions of a okay so that is why we have here given there's a condition that the property of b is like this for example because it is affected by some properties of a and also um with with respect to c so as you could see here we we could see two arrows right one arrow is from a and one arrow is from b so it means to say that the property of c is affected by some properties of a and also some properties of b so this this means to say that these properties of a and b are the conditions that affect the property 
of C, okay? And this is also the same with this case of D, which is affected by the property of B, and also with E, which is affected by the property of C. So this kind of graph paints a very beautiful picture or story. So for example, we can see that C interacts directly with A, but A and E cannot interact directly. So how can A and E then interact? So A and E interact by transferring information through C. Okay, so in short, A and E interacts via C. Okay, so that's the way they make some kind of interaction. So we have also what we call undirected model. So what do you mean by undirected model? Let me write this one first. Undirected. Okay, so in this case, unlike the first case, the directed one where there are arrows and directions, see, you could see arrows, and directed edges, here there is none. So we could not see any arrows, right? There are no arrows, and it means that we could not see where the direction goes to, okay? So just like the first one, it represents factorization into a set of functions which are usually not probability distributions of any kind. So we use this equation to solve problems concerning undirected models. So here, any set of nodes that are all connected to each other in G, okay, in G, is called a click. Let me write that. Click. So we would not be able to forget this. I think it's clearer. Okay, so it means each click C. So this one. Okay, this is the, the click C. Okay. Each cl click C, so then you could see here the, the superscript I, is an undirected model which is associated with a factor theta i times click i. So for better understanding, let's have this illustration. So again, we have five nodes or five variables. We have a, b, c, d, and e. So just like the first one, we have, okay, so this corresponds to a probability distribution which can be factored this way okay so this is how we factor this unlike the first one can you see the difference this is the directed model and this is our undirected model so we have here three factors a b and c okay we have a b and c then we have b and d and then we have c and e so what is this so as you can see, only those pairs that are directly connected and treat them as one unit and multiply to the others. So let's, oh, okay, let's encircle those that are having some direct connections. And then we have, okay, and then we have this, all right? So unlike the first one wherein the condition of one is affected by the condition of the other. But in, the, in this case, it's a different case. So as you can see, again, um, we are only talking with the case of those that are directly connected. Okay? So again, we don't talk here about a condition of one node that affects to the other as a condition or as the main factor that uh, somehow influences or influence the attribute of the other node.
So of course we should consider the fact that there is no guarantee that the product will sum to 1. Okay, so as you could see here, we sum the product. Okay, so we have, we, we, we sum the products, but again, there is no guarantee that the sum will always be equal to 1. So what we do here is to apply the normalization by dividing to constant z. What is the significance of this? Why do we have to study this? They provide a simple and intuitive interpretation of the structures of probabilistic models. They can be used to design and motivate new models. They provide additional insights into the properties of the model, including the conditional independence properties and complex computations which are required to perform inference and learning in sophisticated models can be expressed in terms of graphical manipulations in which the underlying mathematical expressions are carried implicitly. So after all being said and done, let's try this. What do you mean by structured probabilistic model? How would you differentiate directed models from undirected models? What is the significance of understanding structured probabilistic model? Please leave your comments or your answers in the comment below so we could discuss properly and everybody who would like to visit would be able to see your answers and they can just interact properly with you and with everybody who are our family in, their, in this channel. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please click the bell button to be notified every time we have a new session. See you in the next lesson.